finally the time has come where after all the days of studying and taking the exam i've seen my score and i've seen a confirmation that i have passed the florida civics literacy exam and while i was studying i was looking for people's experiences and reviews of the exam and things to look out for and there really wasn't much out there on youtube there was a few few things on reddit that i saw that um, helped out a little bit gave me a little bit of confidence but i thought i would be the one of the first people to um give you guys like a group of sources to use that i used um to have success on the exam now i had my exam booked on the last day to take it to be able to graduate um this semester and so i really had to pass it my first time and because of that i gave myself an allotted amount of time amount of days to make sure that you know i really gave it my all i didn't want to half-ass it and fail and really like bum myself out so i had given myself four days and on each of these days i probably spent three or four total hours studying and at first um the uh, Florida Civics Literacy Exam website gives you a Canvas you can go on, a Canvas course on for Valencia that you can join. I think there's many for different um, colleges, and I, I went on that, but that gave a lot of documents, um, like the written documents. So you look at the Magna Carta and uh, the Bill of Rights, Declaration of Independence, and it's the actual document. So there's not much you can really take away from that because it's just so much um, new material, at least for me. Uh, I wasn't really learning much from that, um, but what I did use from there is I used the quizzes on there uh, to make sure that I knew at least that knowledge, so I'm taking something away from that. As well as that, I made sure that I took the mock exam on the Florida Civics Literacy Exam website. They give you 40 questions, and they give you the answers as well on another document um, to make sure you answer them right, but um, that's definitely good stuff to know. Now, on top of that, I am going to link uh, some websites down below um in the description i used a quizlet that was 117 slides that's the one i used and all that information was really good and i was able to really memorize all that quite well and you have to remember the fc ls the floor civics literacy exam fcle um is multiple choice so as long as you have a general idea of the basics of what you need to cover you can kind of cross out half the answers to where most questions you don't know are going to be 50-50, which is really good for exams. Now, another website that I did use was Go Test Prep um, Practice Tests. So I searched up Go Test Prep um, Florida Civics Literacy Exam mocks. And there was actually three tests I took from those websites, and they're all very important. Um, so yeah, really recommend that as well. Now, a YouTuber that I did watch, a lot of the YouTube videos are from teachers or a lot of what few is on YouTube is from teachers. The one that really did help me out, and it's the only one I actually went through the whole videos for, was I watched VeggieTales FAU Civic Literacy Test Preparation Number 1 and Number 2. I didn't go through Number 3. I felt that the first two was a lot of knowledge, and I took notes on those, and they were really cool. Um, you know, it was a cool way of learning rather than just someone, uh, la, 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 like, just going through the the, the reins of it. Um, so yeah, that, those were the only two videos that I really went through that helped. I do, so from my experience on the test, you can take as much time as you want. I took 40 minutes for the test and I felt like pretty confident. I felt that I was keeping track of how many I was unsure of, where I was like 50-50 guessing. Out of the 80 questions, there was 22 of them where I was kind of iffy on and that did reflect in my grade. So the next day after taking the exam... It tells you um, the specific grade you get. So the, right after you you submit it, it'll tell you if you pass or not. And then um, the day after, you can go into your degree audit, and it'll tell you the, the exact grade that you got. I'm just logging in now to tell you the exact grade I got. And it reflected about what I said about I didn't understand about 22 out of 80 of them. And that's about, you know, not knowing 25%. So the exact grade I got, loading, the exact grade I got was a 73, so a little over 25%, but, you know, I said 22 out of 80, so it's about there, um, which is funny enough that I was correct about all the ones I was confident in. Definitely know about your court cases, um, and... In the source that I gave you, I knew all the court cases that was on my exam. 
So I know the Canvas class gave even more of them, but I didn't have to learn any of those. All the sources I'm going to give you in the description below covered all of my personal um, Supreme Court cases that was on my exam. Now, another thing that I do recommend is definitely know your um, Bill of Rights, so 1 through 10 amendments. And then also know um, all the amendments related to civil rights, which is going to be 13, 14, 15. No, 18, 19, and then 20 and 22. Those were the, all the ones that I saw on my exam. Of course, not all the exams are going to be um, exactly the same, but I'm all, I can only tell you from what I took from my experience. And those were the amendments that I saw. Definitely no... Um, the generic question. So what you're going to see is um, some of the links that I put in my description have similar questions throughout all of them because there's a lot of recycled material. So the things that you do see are repeated. Make sure you know that off the top of your head because you're almost guaranteed to see that. Um, judicial review, the Supreme Court case of uh, Madbury. Um, know about that. I saw that several times and I've heard other people have had that on their exams as well. Um, just make sure you really are repeating things. Don't uh, be lazy with it. Because like I said, I probably spent a total of 12, 13 hours um, preparing for the exam, exam. And I only got a 73. So, and I consider myself someone who um, catches on to things pretty fast. Um, and so if you're someone that's not, definitely spend, you know, at least two weeks preparing for this. Because it's a, it's a wide range um, of things you have to remember. I personally... Never took a civics class. I took government um, like three semesters ago. So it, it was all pretty fresh to me. And maybe that's why I didn't score as well. So if you do have, you know, basic knowledge on this, maybe it's easier for you. Um, but yeah, if you're like me and you leave it last minute, make sure you're preparing like properly. If you know you're someone who learns fast, give yourself at least three, four days. If not, you know, you're a little slower than anyone else. Two weeks, I'd say you can get all that knowledge in your head to where you pass it. Good luck to you all, and I hope you all can pass first try, second try. Good luck.